Oh, calculus three, test for symmetry. We have a polar equation, R equals three sine of two theta. And we have to test and see if this, if the graph of this um, equation is symmetrical in relation with the um, uh, polar axis. Some people think of it as X axis in relation with pi over two. Some think of it as uh, y, um, yeah, y axis, and in or you know in relation with the pole or the origin. So let's go ahead and start. Step one: I'm going to go ahead and replace uh, uh, theta with negative theta. If the result is the same, then I know I have uh, symmetry, so I can stop. So let me write my steps down. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say in relation with polar axis. Like I said, you can think of this, if you prefer, as similar to x axis. OK. So I'm going to go ahead and replace theta with uh, the opposite negative theta. So I'm going to get r equals three times sine of and two times negative theta. And I know that sine is an odd function. So this is the same as r equals minus three sine of uh, two theta, not the same as the original. Now I have to go to the next step. Uh, so now I'm going to replace, replace R with negative R and theta and theta with uh, pi minus theta. Okay. So replacing R with negative R gives me minus r equals three times uh, sine of two times pi minus theta. So minus r equals three times sine of two pi minus two theta. So uh, minus r equals here's three. So I have difference of uh, two angles. I'm going to uh, use my formula. So I have sine of first one, two pi times cosine of two theta minus cosine of two pi times sine of two theta. And let's simplify this. So I have minus r equals three times um, sine of two pi cosine of two theta minus cosine of uh, two pi sine of two theta. So let's see, sine of two pi is zero. So zero times anything is zero, zero minus um, cosine of two pi uh, is uh, just one. One times sine of two theta. So I have sine of two theta and that equals uh, minus three sine of two theta, dividing both sides by negative one. Let me go to the next page. I get r equals r equals three sine of two theta. So yes, symmetry. Yes, symmetry. So uh, the graph of our equation is symmetrical in relation with the polar axis. Now, how about in relation with pi over two? So in relation with pi over two. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace r theta, r theta, with 
minus r minus theta and see, you know, I'm going to replace that and simplify and see if I get the original back. So minus r equals three times sine of two times minus theta. So minus r equals three times sine of minus two theta. I know sine is uh, an odd function. So minus r equals minus three sine of two theta. Uh, divide both sides by negative one, and I get r equal sine of two theta, which is the same as the original um, equation. So yeah. yes, and since it showed symmetry in the first step, now I can stop. So don't need to continue. Okay. So what if, you know, if it didn't, if the answer wasn't yes, what, you know, uh, what would have, if, if this yes was a no, then I would, if not, you don't need it for this problem, but just, just in case, if not, replace, let's see, r theta with r comma pi minus theta and simplify and see uh, if you get a yes or no. If at both times you got a no, then there's no symmetry. Let's go ahead and continue with uh, problem at hand. Go to the next page in relation with the pole in relation with the pole. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace r theta with opposite of r and theta. So when I do that, I get r equals, or rather minus r equals three times sine of uh, two theta. So it's not the same as the original because this is the same as saying r equals minus three sine of two theta. It's not the same. So no, now I'm gonna go to the next step. What's the next step? Replace r theta with r pi plus theta. So let me go ahead and go to the next page. I'm gonna have r equals three times sine of, I had the two, now uh, pi plus theta. So r equals three times sine of two pi plus two theta. I have sum of two angles using my formula r equals three times sine of two pi cosine of two theta plus cosine of two pi sine of two theta. So r equals three times, well, sine of two pi is zero. Zero times anything is zero plus Cosine of two pi is one, one times sine of two theta is sine of two theta. So, uh, so R equals three sine of two theta. So, which is the same as the original. So yes, in this particular problem, uh, uh, this particular equation, we have symmetry in relation with the, uh, pole axis with the pi over two with the origin. So the graph is, the graph is symmetric in relation with 
polar axis, comma, pi over two, comma, and pole or the pole. Ah, okay. Um, so in a different video, I'm going to just um, write down the steps, you know, to summarize the steps that how you can determine uh, symmetry without graphing a, and, you know, a polar uh, equation. Thanks.